Good morning! So, today I am going to the beach. I'm so glad to be going to the beach because it's been amazing this summer, this weather, and I've been dealing with finding a place to live, spending many, many hours on the train, Bristol, London, Bristol, London, um, being told the flat we were going to move into, uh, we couldn't have because they are going to sell it instead of renting it 10 days before we were supposed to move in. So, lots of stress. Thank goodness uh, for bikes because uh, the bike rides have done wonders for the stress levels. Um, but today it is Ruby and I, there's the Ruby, heading to the beach. So uh, uh, the London Brighton route is quite a classic uh, ride. I'm going to take you along. I'd give you an update. I'm about 35, 35, 60, sorry. Oh, and the salt. So you stop riding and um, the sweat starts dripping into your eyes. Oh, it uh, stings, it stings. I'm not crying. I'm um, sorry, about 65K in. I believe I have another 10 to 12K before Ditchley Beacon, which is the big up and over to get into Brighton, where I'm hoping for some fresh sea breeze. It is, according to Garmin, when I was in the sun a minute ago, 34 degrees. So it is baking hot. Um, in the move, I'm, I've got a lot of shade on the roads, um, which is a good thing because I realized halfway here I didn't put sunscreen on my arms or legs. So um, I don't usually burn, so I think I'll be okay. And uh, I am low on vitamin D, and it's very important, having Crohn's and all that, to have a strong immune system, so I'll just top up on my vitamin D today. Um, so yeah, before I um, die of sweat here, I'm going to get the show on the road and uh, get up and over that hill. quickly getting out. I forgot how mental Brighton is, especially on a uh, hot sunny day of summer vacation. So there, to prove it, is the pier, which I will not be going anywhere near, because that end is even more mental than this end. Uh, I'll just show you some clips, but anyway, I made it going home <laughs> on the train. I've now had the Ruby Specialized Expert for a couple months and I've ridden a few hundred kilometers on it. So I thought I'd give my first impressions of the bike. I'll do a proper review uh, in a couple of months from now, you know, more technical information. But right now this is just my initial thoughts and feelings on how the bike rides. Like I said, a quick non-technical review of the Ruby. Um, it is a stunning bike. I like that the uh, specialized riding on the bike is extremely subtle, so I'm not a walking billboard for uh, the bike builder. So down here, it's very hard to see probably for you. It's just the black on the black, and it says specialized, and I, on the top tube on the other side, the same. And then over here, it says Ruby. So it's very subtle, and I love that. The colors are fantastic. Um, it's just a really good looking bike, in my opinion. Enjoying that. Uh, it's disc brake. Absolutely loving the hydraulic disc brakes, the control. It's, uh, I just think it's the way forward. I know some people love rim brakes and their fans, but I say, give me the disc, give me the control. <laughs> um, so loving that. It is a 11 speed Altegra group set, so that's a first for me riding that. And that is absolutely fantastic as well. And uh, a surprise for me was the saddle. I didn't think I would get on with it. I just thought it'd be pretty bog standard. But it is currently um, in competition for my favorite saddle now. Um, like my old Celia Italia is uh, got some competition, and yeah. So all of uh, my first rides have been fantastic. They've been fun. Um, it is really responsive. 
the, the stiffness of the frame. It's the first time I've understood that term, stiffness of the frame. So, so far so good. Stay tuned for the uh, in-detailed, in-depth review.